And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shit Kenya. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shit Kenya. Hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos. If you see something you like, just, just hit share. Yeah, I did a video, and then when I went back to look at it, I couldn't hear it. So I hope you can hear this one. And you know, I can't duplicate the first video. It was good, too. Hey. Because y'all know I just be coming on here. Ain't none of this scripted. It's just, I put down a couple points, and I hit them. And it's crazy, because the paper that I wrote it down on, I think I paid the lady at the gas station, because he got the dollar. So I think I might have <laughs> dug in my pocket. And gave her the notes. <laughs> Damn, I feel so bad. The coffee ain't gonna taste the same now. Well, basically, I had got a DM. The young lady wanted to know why was it so important for her to talk to her baby daddy more than what they talk. She felt like the system that they had was more than working. They don't talk at all. They share the baby. She dropped the baby off. He picked the baby up. They don't even talk when it comes to picking up the baby. Whatever she do when the baby's with her, she do. Whatever he do when the baby's with him, he do. They do parties separately. They don't do nothing together but attend awards and, and whatnot. I know. And in the first video, I commented on that because, believe it or not, that's not something that I would condone, but it's working. <laughs> Whatever their system is, it's working. So all I did was throw out a couple things. To, to let her know that y'all should be talking more and it's just a couple little conversations that's frivolous might not mean nothing to nobody but mean everything you know and so I, I gave a couple tips in the first video damn this is hard because the first video was so good mm. and i don't even remember all the stuff i wrote down because i gave me that girl i know one of them was um maybe y'all discussing when is a good age for the baby to start dating I know that's not nothing that y'all would like to think about, but it's definitely something that's relevant and something that needs to be discussed because it's going to come a time when your baby going to meet somebody and they're going to probably want to go on a first date and you might have to chaperone or something, you know. Both of y'all parents, y'all are so different because opposites attract. You'll be surprised and y'all were brought up so differently, possibly brought up differently or raised differently. You'll be surprised some of the things that y'all may agree on or may not agree on. Yep. One of y'all might agree on dating till they 25. One of y'all might agree on dating at 16. At that point, y'all got to compromise. Remember the three C's of co-parenting? What were they? Cooperation, compromise, and communication. Remember? So, yeah, that's something y'all need to communicate and talk about and come up with an age. That way, the baby will be aware. Y'all are aware. Because what if y'all decide no dating? One of y'all don't want to date, one of y'all don't, but y'all haven't discussed it. So now when the baby go to this house, the baby meeting their boyfriend or their girlfriend at this house, but the other parent has no knowledge of it. None. Yeah, y'all got to talk about everything when it comes. Y'all got to share that baby equally. So that means everything that goes on in your household, that other parent got to be made aware of and vice versa. Y'all should both know every step of that baby. If you withholding information about that baby and you not sharing that baby, you, you a terrible parent. You a terrible ass parent. You didn't make that baby by yourself. You didn't. You're supposed to be answering to somebody when it comes to that baby. Yeah, because at some point, y'all not going to agree on everything. You should be answering to that other parent at some point about their child. Period. Another thing y'all can discuss. Clothes, dress, appropriate attire to dress. Remember I told y'all everything that happened in one household has to be going on in the other household. That means rules. That means structure. That means eating lifestyle everything has to be pretty much the same as much as y'all can get it because if y'all was living together it would be the same so unless y'all when y'all got divorced or separated y'all had totally different lifestyle changes one of y'all changed religion one of y'all changed eating if y'all didn't do any drastic changes it's, some of it should still be pretty much the same to where it shouldn't be too much of a compromise you know so yeah attire you can't have one parent allowing the child to wear sexy clothes and to, in one house and then the other house they can't wear dresses they can't wear nothing yeah y'all got to come to a healthy compromise on what's appropriate attire for that baby because see the baby will play on both of y'all period baby children can be very manipulative especially when y'all break up because chances are they know y'all not talking they know y'all don't get along so yeah children lie and children manipulate the situation so yeah you got to be real careful that's why it's important for y'all to talk don't never just go off of what the kids say. I know. So I know that was two things. What was another one? Um, pets. Pets. One of 
pretty all might not like pets. The other parent might got about two dogs, three cats, a fish, and a bird. And their reason for having pets and having a baby say so they learn they, they they know what it feels like to take care of something. Take care of something other than themselves, maybe. Like there's it, it can be a lot of reasons why this parent choose to have this child with it. But that's something that y'all gotta compromise on when it comes to what if the baby wanna to bring the pet to your house? Your house ain't equipped with pets and dogs and whatnot. Y'all gotta communicate about that. The other parents should give you the reasons why they feel it's important for the child to have a pet and have something to take care of, the nurturing, the loving of it all. And then when that baby, that baby should be allowed to bring that pet over if you ain't allergic. I know you don't like it, but that y'all should be able to compromise about stuff like that. Yeah, pets. Um, work. Work. One of y'all might want the baby to work, one of y'all might not. That's something that y'all can talk about and discuss and come to a healthy compromise. Yep. I feel it's important for a child to work. But you got one parent that might get a baby everything, spoil the baby to death, might not feel like the baby, treat the baby like a princess or a prince, make the baby don't have to do nothing. But you got the other parent that's trying to teach that baby work ethic, trying to teach that baby responsibility, trying to teach that baby financial literacy. You got a parent that's trying to do all that. So that's something where you got you to come to a compromise. You got to come to a compromise. And you got to do what's the best for the baby. Best thing for the baby. So y'all, that's it. I think that was it. Yeah, because I, yeah, that was it. So y'all, that's it for Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shea Kenya. And I think I went the wrong freaking way. And I'm out. Mm, I hope y'all can hear this video.